Not Natchball's vision is to provide all of our students with an inspiring and rigorous education, challenging them to reach their full potential and giving them the confidence and skills to succeed in future life. This is encapsulated in our mission statement, which was reviewed and composed by our student leaders last year. At the Norton Natchball School, we are proud of our history, tradition and achievements at the same time as looking to the future for fresh challenges. We value each individual for whom they are and their ability to improve and grow. We share mutual respect based on care, integrity and trust. We are inspired by a passion for creative and demanding learning experiences. We work with the wider community to make a positive difference and we celebrate our achievements both in the classroom and beyond. The idea for the Digital Learning Centre came about in 2016 and was set in motion by previous head teacher Suzanne Starr and retired Governor David Race. This acknowledges the school's expanding role at the centre of the rapidly growing and changing town of Ashford. As the school increases its intake, we require additional accommodation. A review of our curriculum, the take-up of subjects by our students and the evolving nature of Ashford's local industries led us to identifying the need for specialist facilities to support our delivery of science and computing. This in turn supports our provision of STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. This new building at the front of the school will therefore incorporate specialist teaching space for science and computing and will be known as the STEM Digital Learning Centre. The principle of the design is to provide an exemplar teaching block that is at the forefront of modern teaching. This STEM digital learning centre is based around flexibility, collaboration between pupils and subjects and technology, helping to create a unique environment to learn. The concept for the design and layout was driven by the requirement for STEM inspired teaching spaces. As the teaching spaces predominantly consist of labs and classrooms, it is important that the design allows for plenty of natural light and provides a spacious and flexible learning environment that not only reflects the aspirations of the school but inspires a willingness to learn and take part for all of our students. After a slight delay we were able to break ground on August the 3rd. This was swiftly followed by the foundations being poured and the construction of the main steel frame. As you can see from the photographs the building started to take shape very quickly. Towards the beginning of October, we began to see the walls coming on and the layout of the rooms began to take shape. On the ground floor, there will be a lobby, two science labs, a prep room and toilets. Each lab will accommodate 32 students and be fully equipped with cutting edge facilities. On the first floor, there will be three computing classrooms and an office, again, fully equipped to support 32 students per classroom. This year, even amidst lockdown and the challenges we have faced, the Science Department has worked together to enthuse the students about science through various enrichment activities, competitions and visits. Across all three sciences, A-level results were greatly improved from the previous year, in particular at the top end. The percentage of A-star and A-grade and A-star to B-grades increased significantly. The percentage of Norton Natural students obtaining A-star grades in chemistry is now higher than the national average. The number of students taking one or more of the A-level sciences is steadily increasing and this year we have a total number of 189 students in year 12 and 13 studying biology, chemistry or physics. GCSE science results were also positive. Combined science, physics and biology outcomes were all higher than the previous years and biology had one of the highest percentages of grade 9s obtained across the school. We continue to see a rise in the number of our A-level students going on to computing related degrees beyond 18. Nearly 70% of our current year 13 computing students are planning to continue their studies beyond A-level in computer science or a related discipline. In both GCSE and A-level, our last set of exam results in 2019 showed positive value added, indicating that our students made more progress than students of similar ability in other schools. Our 2020 outcomes exceeded the 2019 results and we are confident we will continue to build on this in 2021. The new Digital Learning Centre will give our students the opportunity to maximise their potential, exceed their goals and take their passion for their subjects to the next level. It is a thrilling time for students at NKS. There is a buzz of curiosity about the new building which is a welcome distraction to the Covid pandemic. 
We are looking forward to a new up-to-date building where we can explore our passions for science and computing to the next level. The approximate costs for fitting out each classroom is £5,500. As we approach the exciting part of getting the building student ready and fitting out the classrooms, we will be asking for your support. If you would like to support this project, please keep an eye on our social media page to see the progress we are making and any help that we will need.